I am actually driving right now on my way to the mall and I'm going to this one store called um, Flying Tiger. It's such a cool store and I just thought that I would do a little vlogging whilst shopping there. So um, I first discovered this store. We were in Tokyo vacationing when we used to live in Misawa. Like it's kind of like Ikea-ish where you like, like go through a maze like you can't choose pick and choose where you go it's like you're forced to shop and see everything that they have in the store so i think it's like a swedish store denmark's denmark um i'm gonna do more research yeah it's just such a cool store they have all kinds like a novelty things like stationery party decor like massagers it's kind of like daiso meets ikea i'm just about to drive off base right now we're gonna go to the mall just behind our just behind the base and um i'm gonna do i need to buy a few stuff so i decided hey let's just do like a flying tiger haul i'm gonna go shop with the kitties they're in the back and yeah all right bye i, I like flying tiger and flying tiger is really cool so one of the things that we have to deal with on base a little side note here since we live on an air force base and we live on the other side of the flight line um we do have to cross the flight line which means um Every time a plane lands or takes off, there's like a little red light and a bell that tells us to stop. So right now I'm stopped. So if you're in a hurry or like you're in labor and you're, you have to go to the hospital, which is on the other side, good luck to you. There's a red light there. You guys see it? Hello. Oh, hi. There. And then there's like a ringing bell. Here's the plane coming, right? No. Oh, I see it. Such a little plane. Let's go. Hey. to the mall. took a little longer than I expected so I thought I was just gonna go into Flying Tiger and just get what I needed to get but um they ended up not having what I wanted and um, I ended up buying stuff that I didn't need but I did buy one thing that I needed um, Flying Tiger has a lot of novelty items they had those rainbow hats with the twirly thingies on top lobster shaped um, light garlands yoga mats like cork kinds had like a lot of they had like a little tent for kids and they also had one for kitty cats like the foldable ones they have sunglasses shaped as donuts all kinds of slime they have all kinds of cool things where it just kind of grabs your eye and makes you say oh my god how cute and into the basket it goes let me show you what it did to me so first of all over there they don't give out bags for free as most stores do here in japan you do have to purchase bags and usually i don't purchase a bag from there just because I don't know, I just want to save. And um, I usually just have a carry a big bag with me anyway. This was kind of a pretty big haul, so I couldn't fit everything in my bag. So um, I bought this bag. This is their shopping bag. It's a cool little design. Um, this one has a little cutout. What does that call it? Like a dressing doll or dress me up doll? I don't know. I'm getting old. And here's the back of it. Kind of quirky, kind of like makes you kind of go, mmm. 
And these were 20 yen each, so about, I would say, 15 cents in USD. You can also buy, like, of course, like the reusable bag. But yeah, you can buy those too, but I opted for this. So, let's do the haul. First thing out, and this is dirty. So I got these sponges. Now, usually I get my dish sponges from, um, Dyso. I don't want to make two trips, and especially not a trip just for these. And plus, I mean, I was there, so I just got it. These are the only kind of sponges they really had. The other ones were, like, the the regular foamy but I like these sponges because it's got a little like texture to it where you can like squ it scrubs really good and plus they're cute and colorful so how yeah how cute is that this was 200 yen so about $180 Wait, oh my god $1.80 ish $1.90 around that you know close to $2 next I got um ever famous with these bath bombs over here my son picked up a ufo fizzy they call it a fizzy it has like just like a kid has like the dutch the dutch wording or the dutch name and then the english name i'm not happy about this i hate aliens i hate the way they look i can't stand them every time i see it i just freak out it's a ufo shaped um bath bomb and inside is a ufo so once my son uses this i'm gonna run away and not come back until it is hidden well hidden. Next thing I bought, oh my god, I forgot about these. It's, it's a tin of Danish cookies with chocolate buttons, which looks like um, M&M's. I were just colored, um, what's that called? Chocolate chips. It's almost that time of the month for me, so sometimes I need some of this. I got these little guys, which they wrapped up in cool paper. But these were on sale. They're having a sale right now, so a lot of the summer items are like half off. So they're two small little jars with like the suck the airtight covers. And we just bought some salt from Hawaii, so I thought that would be perfect to put the salt in and keep it fresh. Yeah, I got these two little things for 50 yen each, which uh, was about 45 cents USD. Oh, and I forgot. So these cookies was 300 yen, so say 250. And then my daughter, she was having like a meltdown because she wanted like the most expensive toy in the store and I was like, no, let's not. She wanted a horse, she wanted a drum set, she, she wanted this drum set over there, like a mini drum set and I was like, no girl. So um, she settled for these little cute little boats. So this would be perfect for when she's in the bathtub. She loves playing in the bathtub and she loves just sitting there and playing in the water. So this is perfect. She's such my water baby. Like in Hawaii, I just figured out how much of a water baby she is. Then I got, before we left for Hawaii, the very last thing that we bought was um, these lychee flavored gummies from the Dole Hawaiian plantation. Like they had it at the airport, you know, like they have like those last minute like tourist gifts. So me and my husband just bought it off the fluke and we were like, oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. And I looked online to see if we can order from the website. It costs $17 a ship, just a small bag over here. So I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like looking high and low for anything gummy and lychee. And oh my god, I found it. These. This was like $1.50 or 150 yen. So about $1.25, $1.45, around that range. So um, these are lychee flavored wine gums. I'm not sure what wine gums mean. Maybe there's a little bit of wine in it. But um, I'm going to try this later and let you guys know. Actually, let me just try one now. Ooh, that's, ooh! Holy moly, it's sour. It's not as good, it's not as sweet and just so good as the one, as a dull one. I still taste the lychee, but holy moly, there's like a sour punch to that. There is a little bit of a bitterness. Maybe it's the wine, I don't know. I mean, it's good, but it, it'll do for now. Oh my God, that's sour. Next and last but not least, I came in there for this because last in the past I saw that they had some really cool ones so I was hoping I'd find a really cool quirky looking one um, I got a washing washing up brush and this is the only one I found the other one was like a senorita lady and the other one was like an elephant a big old elephant like this big and then like a brush and it came with a dish but I wanted something that you can hang and none of those had any notches where you can hang the elephant was too big and the senorita lady was just it was just kind of bulky. This is the only thing that I found. It's a cute little minimalistic looking washing brush. Um, it was 300 yen, so I would say about $2.85. $2 It'll do. I mean, yeah, I just came in there thinking I'd get something kind of cool and just got something pretty normal, but yeah. 
that is my haul you guys um like i said i spent a little bit too long in that mall more than i thought i would spend um of course i had all the kids play in the little playground there you know to let them run off some steam and um oh yeah and all together everything cost about 1500 and something yen so under 15 dollars not bad for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do another one of these hauls because I love that store. I didn't really uh, get really good footage. I feel hopefully I did, but it was kind of hard to like maneuver my tired kids who need a nap. The store is like a maze, so it kind of forces you to look at everything and go through every section, just like IKEA. Kind of hard because my kids would backtrack. One kid would be here, one kid would be there. So I was that odd person going against traffic. So it was pretty difficult. I tried to film as much as I could. So hopefully, I got some good footage. We shall see. Um, next time, I'm gonna do it when they're both in school and uh, do a better haul. That's it with the flying tiger haul. But yeah. Anyways, like this channel. Um, subscribe to this channel. Or like this. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Peace!